Hi, in this video we're going to show that uh, this piecewise function can well, find the value of k so that we can make it a probability density function. So it says a continuous random variable x has a probability density function f of x where f of x is kx squared between 0 and 2 and k brackets 6 minus x between 2 and 6 and otherwise it's 0. It shows says show that the value of k is 3 over 32 sketch y is equal to f of x and find the probability that x is between 1 and 3. Now for continuous random variable, it doesn't matter if it's actually equal to or not equal to, it's still the sort of the same thing because the function is continuous. So for a probability density function, the integral of all the function for all values of x dx must be equal to 1. The problem is we've got different values of x opposed differently between 0 and 2 and 2 and 6. So what we say is the integral between 0 and 2 of kx squared dx, the first part, plus the integral of from 2 to 6 of k bracket 6 minus x dx, the second part, is equal to 1. Right, then we integrate, so we're going to get kx cubed over 3, between the limits now becomes 0 and 2, they go there, plus k, and the k is just a constant, so it can come out, uh, 6x for them 6, and then minus x squared over 2, between 2 and 6, and that has to be equal to 1. So solving that... So now substituting in the limit, so we get k2 cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. Don't always assume if you put 0 in it will be 0, even though it is in this case. Plus k bracket 6 times 6 minus 6 squared over 2 minus 6 times 2. Now next one you must be careful because it's minus minus, so it's going to be plus 2 squared over 2 is equal to 1. So this becomes k, 2 cubed is 8 over 3. This is nothing, so we'll just ignore it. And as k is k, we come out as a common factor. So we're going to have 6 times 6 plus 36 minus 6, 36 over 2, so it's minus 18, minus 2 times 6, which is 12. Now, 2 squared is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so plus 2 is equal to 1. This becomes, if you add this up, uh, 32 over 3 is equal to 1, and therefore k is equal to 3 over 32 as required. Right, the next part said to sketch the function. So if you write out the function properly now with the value of k in, it will be 3 over 32x squared between 0 and 2, 3 over 32 between 6 minus x between 2 and 6, and 0 otherwise. Right, uh, making the function. So draw yourself a set of axes. Right, uh, this is the crucial point. At 2, the value is 3 over 8. How do they get that? So 2 squared is 4. 4 threes are 8 over 32, which cancels down to 3 over 8. And then if you put 2 in here, you get 6 minus uh, 2, which is 4. 4 times 3 is 12 over 32, which again is 3 over 8. Now, this is a quadratic. It is plus x squared, so it will go up like that, like a quadratic up to that point. That's the important thing to do, because we're just sketching it, and I've got any graphing aids here. Okay, so this will be like a, a curve of a quadratic. And it only has to be a sketch, it just needs to look right. It will start at 0, because 0 squared is 0. So that's the first part. Right. This will be 0 when x is 6. So we put on x is 6 and then just draw a straight line, because we, we know this is a linear graph, and we know it goes from that point to that point. Okay, so that's how you would sketch the, the function. Now, uh, I did this GeoGebra applet, and again, I'll attach the uh, link to the notes of the video. Okay, so this is the um, GeoGebra uh, version of it. Again, marking on that point 3 over 8, which is quite important at 2. Okay, and we've got the piecewise function written out there, and the, the area would have, will be equal to 1. Okay, so what this GeoGebra applet does means that you can move A and B to find 
some uh, probabilities. So later we're going to have to do the probability between 1 and 3. Okay, and we're going to do it algebraically, but the graph, graph will look like that. And we'll, see, we'll have to see that we have to integrate between 1 and 2, and then 2 or 3 of the other function. Okay, so that uh, that uh, I will put into the notes of the video. So it's a screenshot of the first case. The area has to be equal to 1, otherwise it's not a probability density function. So we now have to find, writing out the, the function again, we now have to find the probability of x being between 1 and 3. So we have to integrate between 1 and 2, because this one behaves from 1 and 2 behaves like that, of that. And then we have to add to that the integral from 2 to 3 of the other one. And we need to work that integral out, with, now with the value of k in. So we're going to get 3 out of 32 x cubed over 3 again from 1 or 2. So it's the same integral we've just done already. 3 over 32 of 6x minus x squared over 2 from 2 to 3. So it's 3 over 32, 2 cubed over 3 minus 1 cubed over 3, plus 3 over 32, 6 times 3, minus 3 o squared over 2, when you substitute 3 in, and then minus 6 times 2, plus, be careful with the plus, 2 squared over 2. So 3 out of 32 is a common factor, so this becomes 8 over 3, minus 1 third, plus 18, Minus 3 squared over 2, which is four over, 9 over 2, sorry. Minus 6 times 2, which is minus 12, plus 2. 2 squared is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's 3 over 32, and if we work all this out on our calculator, we're going to get 35 over 6. The 3 and the 6 will cancel, and we get 35 over 64 as the exact answer. Well, if we work it on a calculator, we will get that, and then we'll round it off that to three significant figures. So we can either put that down or that down as the answer. Going to the GeoGebra plot, we can see we've got the answer. And what we're actually doing is we're finding the area between here and here, because the point is quite crucial, and the area from here to here separately, and then adding them together to get the probability. Okay, again, this uh, GeoGebra applet is in the notes of the video. And there is the final screenshot of what I've just shown you. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the constant k of a piecewise function so that it becomes a probability density function. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.